Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I print and cut uh, with a silhouette portrait for the stickers in my shop. First, on the Silhouette Studio, you choose the style. For example, I'll choose the first one because I have a portrait. And then I go to the page size. I pick A4 because my sticker paper is A4 size. And then I choose portrait for the cutting mat because mine is a portrait. Now you can pull out your image, you select it and drag and drop. This is a hand-drawn drop of blood that I've drawn. Now you have to trace it. Select trace. Select trace area and cover the whole thing. Pull the threshold to the right, make sure everything is covered. Trace outer edge. Now there's a red line around it, select that. And now you're going to offset it. Press offset, and you can select the distance between your image and the red line. Apply. Now you have to pull the original red line out and delete it. I'm just removing the extra dots on the right. Now you select them all together and group them. So now you can adjust the size and where it is. Press this so you can adjust the size, lock it, and when you put in the width, it will change the height for you. Now you can range them. You can select them and copy and paste, but make sure you don't put them over the red line or the cutting area, the shaded area. Now I have them arranged into four sheets. Make sure the um, page size are correct. Now you can print them. Choose the correct printer. Choose default setting, that would be a color version. And then I usually put them to the best quality and now you can print now you go back to the studio and you go to send and make sure the red lines are selected there's no need to pick the other colors because that would be cutting the words. Make sure the paper is correct. I usually use vellum. You can use sticker paper white as well. And the cut, I put two for the speed and four for the force to have kiss cut. Now you connect the machine to your laptop. Now take the cutting mat out, remove the backing sheet. Mine is pretty old, so bear with me. Put your sticker paper over it. Make sure the markings match your paper, like so. And I have a washi over it because my cutting mat is not very sticky anymore. Put it onto the machine. Press the top button or the second one. And the paper will load automatically. Make sure both sides of the papers are in. Now check the blade. I put it on one, but you have to test each machine for kiss cut. Put it back in, lock it. Now press send on studio.
So it will continue to cut and after it is done, it will load to the very, very top of the paper and you press the third button to release it. Remove the washi if you have one. Turn the whole cutting mat upside down and then pull the, the cutting mat out so this way your sticker paper will not curl. There you have it. I usually cut the sheets out with this cutting board. You just put it in and then press down when you draw the blade down and it will cut. But I usually test it first to make sure um, the blade won't cut away the images. So I'll go through it once and then when I'm confirmed then I'll press it down. So I hope this is helpful to you all. If you're interested in these stickers, they are sold in my Etsy. And if you have any questions, please leave it below and I'll try to answer them. Bye for now.